How do you catch a cold? And why would you chase it? The Gnostics called this energy the Archons, and others called it the Jinn, Devil, or Demons. And some believe that certain rituals can summon these dark energies through portals created during the incantation. Some Christians claim this of the free Masonic rituals. Can this dark energy be passed from one person to another, say from a patient to a doctor? Does an exorcism take that dark energy and push it onto the exorcist themselves? Arthur Zing calls this translocation. When we are sick, we are programmed to look for the cure. The cure implies that we rid ourselves of the illness or energy. But what if the correct thing to do is transform this energy into something positive? Is this the God-given power we have that has been hidden from us? Authors such as Paul Levy talk about how a Native American mind virus called Watiko can be passed down through the family, unless one person in that family decides to put a stop to that energy and transform the energy or the Watiko with their attitudes and actions, or right thought, right deeds. Are we all ancient alchemists capable of transmuting these energies from something negative to something positive? Can we shapeshift an Archon or the Watiko energy by refusing to give it what it wants, to feast on our fear? For those helping others with disease, is there any way of protecting yourself from taking on that dark energy? Arthorazine claims that psychedelics such as LSD can open portals within a human being that can be used as doorways to allow the negative energy in. Some claim that these portals could be created in others by using what is known as black magic or voodoo. But it is said that 99% of these portals are created by our own actions. The vampire must be invited in. Does the Buddhist Eightfold Path provide a way to protect yourself? The Eightfold Path is said to be a way of escaping the painful cycle of death and rebirth, known as the samsara which is the Ouroboros and the Ring Past Knot, which to the Gnostics would be the corrupt reality, and in today's parlance, that would be the Matrix. Could the protection of the Eightfold Path also be the protection provided by the Ten Commandments, a shield against these elements? <laughs>